Well, hello everybody. Welcome to your very first Android application development tutorial. My name is Mehul, and in this tutorial, and probably in this whole series of Android application development, we are gonna learn about how to create awesome Android applications which you can run on your phone and on other phones, and probably on tablets, on wearables like watch, Android watch, and pretty much any device which Android supports and you could probably just make a bit of customizations and you would be able to support that particular device. Now Android is an operating system and developing applications for this would be kind of cumbersome if you do it in a text editor like Sublime Text or Notepad++. Well it's probably possible but it is not feasible. So we need an IDE and Android itself has a very awesome IDE for that purpose and that is Android Studio. Well you have Eclipse as well but Eclipse is kind of third party. You need to have some plugins of Android Studio to make it work nicely and you know it's kind of slow as well compared to Android Studio. Android Studio is pretty fast if you have you know obviously you haven't used it yet but when you'll use it you will yourself realize that the auto completion and uh, <coughs> compilation is relatively faster than Eclipse so what I'm gonna do in this whole series is that I'm gonna teach you guys how to create Android applications well fair enough but uh, I expect a little bit of programming knowledge from you guys like you should be probably like from web designing background or you know anything else you just you should probably know that yes there's some sort of programming there's some sort of language called Java or XML and uh, probably you shouldn't be like oh what is going on on the screen what this text is all about because if you are one of the guys who have just landed on this tutorial video and have no idea what programming is and uh, you know how to do programming even how to create a basic something mm -hmm. so I would really recommend you to first of all just get basics of Java at least if you are if you are completely blank in programming and for all those folks who are coming from web designing or web development or you know just have a little bit of idea about Java or C or C++ you would be probably good to go and you have to just download it and install it for now it shows me for Windows if you are on Mac it would probably show you for Mac here and uh, yeah so you have to just download it and once you download it you'll get a setup like this which would be around 1.15 gigs and as you can see it's Android 2.1 in my case but in your case it might be a little bit higher version if you are seeing this video after a bunch of months or something but if you as long as you are in 2.x series you shouldn't have any much sort of problem so you just have to install Android Studio just double click it and it will just wait for you for the, for the setup for extraction and uh, it would then ask you about permissions just say yes and it would install it you just have to click next next and uh, it says me uninstall the previous version because I already have installed Android Studio so I'm just gonna click cancel right here and uh, one thing you might need to do in your setup is that it might ask you to install a virtual device now just uncheck that option because we're gonna make use of something known as Gany motion for our virtual device and uh, you know just install the setup as a raw setup don't install any device associated with it so whenever you see an option like install a virtual device or set up a virtual device just uncheck or unmark that particular thing and you'll be good to go so that's all for this tutorial and in the next tutorial we'll be taking a look at how to set up our Android emulator so that we could actually test our apps so that's all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching